In the early 19th century, the most respected physicians of Baltimore, under the leadership of John Beale Davidge, came together to formalize the study of medicine. They lobbied the state legislature for the founding of a medical college. Established by resolution of the Maryland General Assembly in 1807, the University of Maryland School of Medicine is the country's fifth oldest medical school. It was an uphill battle for physicians. The doctors continued after the legislature formally approved the charter uh, to teach out of their homes because there, there was no funding. The state didn't provide any, any funds. The city wasn't going to uh, chime in. And five years later, uh, the doctors recognized the only way they were going to get their medical building is if they financed it with their own resources. And, and that's, uh, that's how Davidge Hall was founded. Today, Davidge Hall, the founding building of the University of Maryland, Baltimore, as well as the University System of Maryland, stands as the oldest existing teaching facility in America continuously used for medical education. The founding faculty, inspired by European operating theaters, engaged the services of Robert Carey Long Sr. to build on land they had purchased on the corner of Lombard and Green Streets. The medical building when it was constructed in 1812 was a grand display of medical achievement for the community. It was unheard of uh, in its day and, and Maryland probably had, when the building opened up, uh, the most prestigious building in, in America when it came to medical institutions. Uh, this was significant because it was making a statement to the public that formalized medicine is here to stay and it's important. Davidge Hall incorporates the design features seen in the most revered schools of medicine in Europe. A semicircular theater on the first floor with tiered seating affords unobstructed observation and accommodates 200 students. The excellence in acoustical design clearly carries faculty voices to even the last rows of seats. High windows provide privacy from street observation and natural lighting. Brick kiln-like niches built into the front wall used for experiments gives this ground floor theater its name, Chemical Hall. Anatomical Hall, directly above on the third floor, is also designed with rows of rising circular seating. Its domed ceiling is beautifully decorated with a network of semicircles and rosette patterns. The dissection lab, located on the second floor, protects faculty from public protests against dissection. When the building opened up in 1812, it, it was not safe to practice medicine simply because doctors were being accused of dissecting cadavers that had been robbed from, from graves. There was a black market for it and a need for it. So when the building was designed, the uh, dissecting lab was actually uh, placed on the second floor. And this was far enough uh, away from the entrance of the building and access to that room. Actually, uh, you had to climb two staircases and be led through a series of doors into the anatomical or the dissecting lab. The other rooms include a small classroom and a library where students could study the human body in illustrated books and read the journals of the day. The rich history of Davidge Hall is preserved by the Aikiko Kobayashi Bowers Museum of Medical Artifacts, which provides visitors access to historical busts, publications, and artifacts dating back to the earliest days of organized medicine in America. Portraits of the founding faculty, including Drs. John Beale Davidge and Nathaniel Potter, two of the early deans, remind us of the early 19th century visionaries who led the journey to establish the fifth oldest medical school in the United States. In 1958, the, the Board of Regents actually voted to transfer the name of Davidge Hall to the old medical building in, in honor of Dr. Davidge. Davidge Hall continues to stand today as the oldest existing teaching facility used for medical instruction in America. Let's all stand and recite the oath together. As I begin this next stage of my medical education, I pledge to act 
in the best interests of my patients. Now in the 21st century, University of Maryland School of Medicine students take great pride in this rich historical heritage. Here, the traditions of medical education continue from generation to generation, preparing students to practice the most current medicine. Their commitment to curing and preventing diseases follows in the pioneering footsteps of the first students who sat in this instructional theater in 1812. Through the passage of time, Davidge Hall continues to symbolize and celebrate the mission of medicine.